once again, we're at the Chatham Air Show. I'm here with Don McClellan. Donnie, how are you doing today? Now, what a beautiful plane. We're just laughing it up, folks. There's a little kind of an inside joke before we start the interview. Now, this is a very, very unique model. Is this pretty much one of a kind? In we think seat? it is. It's in Canada, anyway. It's a quarter scale model of a CA-13 Boomerang, an Australian fighter. That, it was built by my friend Charlie Mills, one of the founding members of the Chatham Club. He folks. scratch built this entire airplane from nothing. A little plastic model, drew it up. There's oh no, plans. no plans. He's, he just scratched it up. And no Zeroli plans. No, and he, he, he's done a this. machinist. He machined the landing gear. You can see the retract gear with the shock struts. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah. So and now, how does she fly? Flies stable as a rock. It's heavy. It's got a thick wing, and it's and then now with all this power of this new engine. It really pulls hard. Now, I noticed the engine is a Moki. How many uh, cylinders does this Five one Five-cylinder Moki, four-stroke radial, runs on gas, run 50 to 1 gas and oil mix, synthetic oil, and a 26-16 prop on it, so lots of pitch. It gets about 5,500 RPM. Now, I noticed when you're flying it around how beautiful it was Yeah, the sound, is, the sound is everything with the radial. Yeah. We've plumbed it into the scale exhaust right over here. Yeah. The side pipe, that's where the full scale exhaust was. We plumbed the exhaust ring right into that pipe, so now it gets the, the scale sound. So yeah. it's, a, it's, a, it's fun to fly. Okay, we're here today. Hey, it's been a couple weeks. Yeah. At least. At, At least. least it's been a couple weeks. How you doing, John? Good, Nick. John Mannering, buddy, this is another nice scale plane, right? Canadian icon in a way. Absolutely. So tell me a little bit about it. Tell well, the folks about it. Well, it's a de Havilland Otter. Um, it was the, uh, some, the, the plane before this was the Beaver. This is a bigger version of the Beaver. Um, this is the actual prototype of the uh, uh, RCMP. Uh, otter that they used to fly. Uh, there's some RCMP insignia back here. And it's a bush plane, it's a workhorse. They're still flying them off of water mostly. This originally had floats on it. Now about the model itself, is this a kit or was it? Uh... It's a partial kit. I bought the kit for like 50 bucks. It was not all there. It's a Unionville kit. I added a lot of ups and extras and this is my first scale project. Uh, looking at it, doing all the riveting a lot of time. First you start with laying down the panel lines on the plane. There's panels that the real one's built with. You paint in the panel lines and they overlap just the same as they do on the real plane. Once you get that done, then you start laying all your rivets down. And the rivets are just made out of uh, a special recipe I made up of glue. You put a pencil line down and follow them and away you go. There's about just over 52,000 rivets on this plane, Nick. I noticed that it almost looks like, like you can rub your finger across. It looks like there's different levels in it. How did you create that? By painting, masking over the previously paint, and then painting on top of that to get your multiple levels of, of overlap so they look like the real one. Oh. It's a five-step process to paint the panel lines in a wing like this. So that in itself is a lot of work as well. I spent a couple of hours just trying to figure out how to do it. Now, how does she handle in the air? Is she really nice Beautiful. And it's beautiful. heavy enough to cut the wind. It's beautiful and stable. I've got uh, some rudder uh, dialed into the computer radio that uh, when I'm making a left turn with ailerons, the, the rudder has a certain percentage in to coordinate the turn so it looks like a real airplane turning. Yeah. And that's the whole thing what you're trying to achieve here is full scale, make it look like the real thing. So when people see it flying around, you must sometimes, people stop and look and go, is that real? <laughs> Absolutely. When you're flying in competition, you've got to make it look like you're flying, like it's the real one. And the trick on these ones is to fly them slow enough so they look like uh, a plane in the distance. Okay, John. Thanks a lot. Folks, labor of love, right? One of his first planes. We saw the first, the first one that he built, and a few weeks ago we saw the last one. Stick around, enjoy the show. We'll be right back. Well, that's it for this week's episode of RCTV. Folks, next week we're off to Winnipeg to play in the snow. Go figure, Winnipeg has snow. Also, we're gonna be hooking up with one of our other partners, Wes, out in the West Coast, and he's gonna be talking about some brushless motors. We'll see you then, folks. Take care.
RCTV, your radio controlled authority, has been brought to you in part by Eliminator RC, your one stop hobby shop. RC Pit Stop, bringing the best of RC to BC. And John's Hobbies, Toronto's local hobby store.